a very good morning I be to Dr. Kwa, Dr. Te, and my fellows. First of all, I would like to start the presentation by introducing my group. We are group 4 from tutorial 4. I am Li Xiu Wei, and my groupmates are Li Yanzi, Tan Chu Yi, Li Xinjie, and Chua Jia Qi. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about the case applications for chapter 4, which is testing success. We have divided our presentations into four main parts. For the first part, is a 10-point summary based on case applications. Second, discussion questions with answer review. Third, references. And at last, is the Kahoot quiz. This slide shows the case applications assigned to our group. It's available on 10 editions of Fundamental of Management ebook, page 139. You can go through the passage on ebook. Now, I'm going to start the first part, which is 10 point summary based on case applications. Before I move on, I would like to share a little bit of the Coca Cola Company. The Coca Cola Company is an American multinational beverage corporation. The company has interest on the manufacturing, retailing, and marketing of non alcoholized beverage concentrates and shrubs. The main product of the company is Coca Cola, and it also produces and sells other soft drinks and citrus beverages. Moving on to the summary, I have summarized the case applications into 10 points. Firstly, Coca Cola Company is the world's largest non alcoholized beverage company. Second, cost goal by 2020 is doubling the business which grew out is simply orange juice into a global juice brand. Third, cost designs to beat PepsiCo who have a more percentage market share in the non form concentrate juice category. Number four, standardization is a huge problem when producing and transporting orange juice. Number five, hence, cost leverage a complex algorithm called Black Book Model to control the production and quality of orange juice. Number six, the Blackpool model of orange juice is the most complex application of business analytics. It's because it's needed to consistently deliver an optimum blend under the changing environment. Number seven, the algorithms include profile of raw juice batches and data with different flavors, which make up oranges and customer preferences. Number eight, the algorithms will then blend batches to match standards and follows the interactions at the boarding process. Number nine, data provided on external factors are important to co decision makers to ensure that they will have enough supplies. Number 10, the mathematical modeling makes the business to regroup and replan in few minutes if weather catastrophic is. That's all from the summary. Now, I will pass the presentation to my colleagues, Yan Zi, for further explain about the discussion questions. Thank you. Thank you, Li Xiu Wei, for presenting. My name is Li Yanzi, and today we are going to discuss about the questions of case application. There are four questions in this case application, and I will discuss about question one. Which decisions in this story could be considered unstructured problems, structure problems? There are two types of problems in a business, which are unstructured problem and structure problem. Unstructured problem is problem that is new or unusual and for which information is ambiguous or incomplete. It may require specific analysis and research to fully understand. Another is structure problem. This kind of problem is straightforward commonly occur in a similar or recognizable way within the organization and it is easily understood by the organization. The first unstructured problem for Cook is decision to globalize the Simply Oranges business as it is a new business for Cook in order to beat rival Pepsi Cook. Coke is not sure people from worldwide either accept this kind of product or not. Besides, the production of orange juice 
it also considered an unstructured problem because it is totally different from producing soda. It requires Cook to use a new production method such as harvesting, sorting the oranges, squeezing oranges to collect fresh juice and natural oils which are not used in producing soda drinks. Another problem is to standardize every bottle of orange juices in order to deliver an optimal orange juice to customers without using any synthetic flavors, additives, or preservatives. Coke wished to deliver the great taste of orange juice to customers, but it is too difficult for Coke to ensure every orange juice has the same sweetness, acidity, and quality. The first structure problem is the way to bottle orange juice, knowing customers' preferences and the flavors that made up an orange. This is because Cook owns a black book, which is a simple algorithm that includes detailed data about the methods to make, blend, and bottle the orange juice. The second problem is the way to handle the problem of weather catastrophe. Coke has mathematical modeling which can help Coke to regroup and replan at once. The last one is Coke is able to overcome the supply issue of oranges as oranges has a three month growing season, but orange juice production is year round. By using the data in Black Book, which includes data on external factors like weather patterns, Coke can ensure they will have enough supplies for at least 15 months. Therefore, Coke sourced oranges from the USA, Brazil, and Mexico at different times of the year to provide customers with the best testing product possible. And that's all for question one. Thank you. Now I will pass to the next presenter, Tan Chiu Yi. Thank you, Yanzi. I'm Tan Chiu Yi. Let me continue with the question two. How does the Black Book help coach managers and other employees in decision making? What is Black Book? Black Book serves as a guidebook to help managers and employees in the decision making process. Next, Black Book is an algorithm which consists of various data. It has detailed data about more than 600 flavors that make up an orange juice and about customer preference, profiles of acidity and sweetness rates of raw juice, and also includes the data about external factors, which are weather patterns, crop use, and cost pressure. All of this data is important to help in decision making. Third, it helps to make program decisions to handle the structure problems, which are how to standardize the different quality and quantity for each batch of raw oranges and how to consistently produce oranges for the whole year, as the peak growing season is only three months long. Fourth, Black Book has to analyze up to one quintillion decision variables in order to help in making decisions on how to deliver the optimal blend. Black Book, which is a guidebook, help managers in making decisions when managers confront weather catastrophe like hurricane and hard freeze by regrouping and resetting a plan in about 5 to 10 minutes to solve this problem in order to ensure the customers have consistently fresh and tasty orange juice throughout the year. Next, Black Book analyzes the data of external factors and make adjustments for the juicing plants to make sure they have adequate supplies for at least 15 months. When managers are facing problems on external factors like climate change, it will affect the crop use of orange, since orange trees are climate-sensitive plants. Therefore, Black Bull will adjust the juicing plan to ensure they will have enough supply. Third, Black Bull will determine the optimal time to pick the orange. It helps managers to make decisions on what time the managers should inform the growers to pick the orange 
in order to have a better quality of orange juice. Besides, Black Book help employees to achieve consistent taste in orange juice. The data in Black Book match with the profile of each batch of raw juice and decides the optimum way to blend the orange juice in order to have a perfectly consistent taste. It means that the recipe for orange juice will change according to the data. So, this has helped the employees to make accurate decisions on how to blend the different batch of orange juice which has unequal sweetness and acidity to ensure the products match the certain taste. Thus, the employees only need to follow the procedures provided by Black Bull to blend the juice and add natural flavors and fragrance that are captured during squeezing the juice to make up the flavor loss when processing in order to make it taste fresh. This has shown the contribution of Black Bull in employees' decision-making process to produce a consistent taste of orange juice. That's all for this question. Thank you. Now I pass to next colleague, Li Xingjie. Thank you, my colleague, Dan Chiu Yi. Good day to Dr. Kua and Dr. Day and my friends. My name is Li Xingjie, and for now, I will present the third question which is, what does Koch's big data have to do with its goal? Before we look into it, let's identify what is the goal of Koch's company. The long-term growth goal of Koch's company is doubling their business by 2020, and the doubling here means enlarging. So, to achieve this goal, the company decided to start with the Simply Orange Juice business. The first alternative that the company chose was to beat their biggest competitor, PepsiCo, and change their products into an influential global to spread. To achieve this, the managers of Coke's company decided to improve their organization's management product development with the help of the big data technology. Let's get into the point. How Coke used the big data method to reach their goals? First, they used it on their product development, which was in the production of Simply Orange Juice. An algorithm named Black Book Model was developed by Coke to cope the standardized problem and it is able to create a consistent taste of orange juice throughout the whole year. It actually involves steps of decision making, which is identify problem and develop alternative. So, just now my colleague Chu Yi had explained about the Black Book Model, and now I will further explain on what data should be collected by them. To succeed this algorithm, they actually need a lot of data from external factors such as satellite imagery, better debt, expected crop yields, and cost pressure. This is because the growth of the oranges will be influenced by these factors. Other than this, detailed data about the countless data of 600 different flavors that make up an orange also needed so that it can ensure every drop of orange juice produced by the model are in a consistent taste. Other variables such as acidity or sweetness rates also have to take in consideration. Not only that, consumer preference is also important as Coke has numerous consumers distributed in more than 200 countries and they stand at different culture and lifestyle. A key point here is, the algorithm only can work if and only if data are provided. From this case, we can know that the big data are very significant to Coke's company when they are doing product development, as it will influence the company's performance. For our information, the big data not only used by Coke in product development, it also takes advantages from the point of marketing. With millions or billions of followers on social media, Coke see changes from this big data. The big data gives insight on who is consuming their drinks, where their customers are, and at what situation will urge them to talk about their brand. Again, Coke will use AI-driven image recognition technology to spot when whether photographs of its product or those of competitors are uploaded to the internet. And here, we can know that the data collection allows the company to vet their criteria. After collecting those data, they determine and select the best alternatives to serve them attractive advertisement by using algorithm. Lastly, 
When the managers evaluate their decision, they found that advertisements targeted in this way have a four times greater chance of being clicked on than other methods of targeting advertising. In the slide, you can see that these are some of the creative posters released by the company. Last but not least, before I end my floor, I would like to conclude that Coca-Cola can continue to stay ahead of the game not only relies on its brand equity, but also their ability to turn the predictive analytics data into anticipate future trends. Now, I will pass it to my another colleague, Chua Jia Chi, to present the last question. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Xingjie. I'm Chua Jia Chi. I would like to discuss about the last question. Do some research on revenue analytics. First, what is Revenue Analytics It is an enterprise software as a service SaaS company that avails revenue management and price optimization, particularly in media, hospitality, passenger rail, and manufacturing and distribution companies. Revenue Analytics Next Generation software provides intuitive responses to help business especially to regain missed revenue, reclaim their time, and improve their pricing. So besides are the founders for revenue analytics company. Next, how can it help managers make better decisions? Better decisions can be determined as it improves business profitability to achieve company's goal. First, revenue analytics help managers in pricing. Pricing is a factor that gives up profit in supply chain. Second, it helps managers in revenue management. Revenue management can be defined as the application of pricing to increase the profit produced from a limited supply of supply chain assets. Now, I would like to explain how revenue analytics software help managers make better decisions in four sectors, which is media, hospitality, passenger rail, and manufacturing and distribution company. In the media sector, revenue analytics provides red optics software. It shows the real-time rate for every section, segment, and spot type, so that manager can set up better advertiser-specific pricing, especially when comparing the historical past proposal to current rate cut. It also becomes a right pricing guidance that illustrates fast-changing market-level dynamics, such as new clients, cancellations, new deal wants, and pipeline. After obtaining the product insight that represents the dynamic environment, the manager can achieve revenue management by having a better pricing guide. In the hospitality sector, there is N2 pricing software, which is a revenue management system. The software provides each price recommendations with fundamental variables or reasons given by revenue management system, so that revenue managers can make better decisions by implementing the most appropriate price strategy for their hotel. Besides, it also helps managers to make accurate and effective pricing forecast by comparing the past year data with current year data. They can compare demand level indicator last year with indications of increased demand. As the result, managers can make better decisions in pricing forecasts in advance so they will have flexibility and opportunity to make strategic adjustments. Third, in passenger rail sector, the software provided by Revenue Analytics is Fair Vantage software. It avails fair recommendation by reliable demand forecasts and price sensitivities. Its priorities dashboard has all the big revenue opportunities organized into a central view so that managers can better predict and view pricing plans based on fair recommendation because everything hints on forecasts. Lastly, in manufacturing and distribution sector, there is three products that help companies. First, the Price Plus software. It removes price exceptions and becomes price guidance based on segment willingness to pay. Second, the Product Plus software. It identifies and suggests high converting products to customers when waiving factors that are essential to business. Third, Best Plus software. Pricing price in accounts without risk to losing high-value customer 
by looking at likelihood of conversation so that manager can make better decisions by having systematically delivering micro segment and corresponding price guidance for every deal and product. So that's all from me. Next, I will pass to Shu Wei. Thank you, Jiaqi. Here comes to the end. The third part of this presentation is references. This is the list for references for this presentation. Please have a look. Don't forget to check out our childhood clip. The link will be provided in the section, and you can also set the game team to join our childhood clip. That's all for our group. Thank you for listening to us.